my wife has this expression, I am not my thoughts. Truly a testament to her strength, which is a Portland gal, so that's like being spiritually on a level four yard. <clears throat> so I mean, starting there, regarding our relationship, my love. Scripture says the Holy Spirit is going to give you a sound mind. So I would gravitate towards your husband. Let's confirm that. Off to a rocky start, yes, my love, but... But when he heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in place of his father, Herod, he was afraid to go there. Then being warned by God in a dream, he left for the region of Galilee. So she's scared to come home. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not in any way least among the leaders of Judah from, from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. That would be me. I'll remind her highness. Perfect timing as always. Um, anything I do, since there's no separation between me and your heavenly father, your heavenly father is a role I play often with you, actually. It was part of our plan. So I'm editing your story we were deeply offended. We were. <clears throat> but we're never going to hurt you. The queen stands at God's right hand. Behold God. So, remembering your heavenly father is invisible but that's also part of uh, me, my power. And uh, here, O Israel, the Lord is one. There's no separation between me and God then. So I am not my thoughts was a popular mantra for you. When I sit down with someone, I gauge. I say, okay, this is one of my angels that got stuck. Is this a demon that was born in a human body? Or is this simply a human with a demon? That's usually the people I encounter. Rarely do I encounter an on fire for Jesus Christian. The last one I encountered for actually the true Holy Spirit versus those that follow the false Holy Spirit and they think that's Jesus. So you gotta reference the scripture, Revelation 16, 13, and see what time it is, babe.
I do it every day. When I make a video, I'm pleasing the Father, getting closer to the Father, getting closer to the Father, getting closer to the Father. And he's flowing through this house. So <clears throat> there is no downside to you coming home, first of all. I'm not going to hurt you. And that's a huge piece we have to get out of your mind. And the only way to do that is to restore your marriage, which is what your Heavenly Father told you in Portland. Do not separate. Don't gamble with your happiness. Fix your marriage. So when he tells you something through me, and he's telling you something through my Holy Spirit in you, then you know you're not being deceived. Then you know it's truly heavenly um, counsel. So <clears throat> you look back at all the counsel you received and you can see how far from Jesus they actually are. And you should constitute who you hang around with based on their proximity to me. Do I know them? Do they know me? And you're going to find out no. Because you had the false Holy Spirit that gravitated towards demons. We will let people... Fight us and fight us and fight us and fight us until they're exhausted. And then I'll just come and pick you up. So, I mean, your path, you know where you're supposed to be. You know where you're, what you're supposed to be doing. That's going to strengthen your mental strength. For you to see clear and then make your decisions based on what Shereen Montoya, Miss Mary Magdalene, is deciding versus what the devil was putting in Cherie's mind. That's all I'm supposed to say. I love you with all my heart.